Apple CEO Tim Cook, we pay all the taxes we owe. NBC News.com. U.S. World. Politics. Business. Tech. Science. Health. Investigations. Entertainment. Sports. Travel. Nightly News. Meet the Press. Dateline. Today. MSNBC. News.com. MSN. NBC News. Business. Follow us. Facebook. Twitter. Show me. Economy. Markets. Consumer News. Autos. Real Estate. Taxes. Energy. Taxes. Apple CEO Tim Cook. We pay all the taxes we owe banking. Morgan's Jamie Dimon crushes opponents at shareholders meeting real estate. Most expensive house ever hits market at $190 and autos electric car maker Tesla to pay off $465 and in federal loans consumer news Americans just don't like their internet provider video games Microsoft reveals box one. The new generation console economy bonuses for top federal workers no no sequester stocks as and p hits all time high. Boy by Dovish Fed. Comments autos 100,000 electric cars sold, but expectations lag real estate economy is on the move again, and so are Americans business Apple saved billions in taxes by using Irish subsidiaries, report says Environment Monsanto. Bayer seek answers to be losses aviation aboard revamped Dreamliner. Little mention of battery fire stocks stocks close lower. Worry that Fed may trim bond purchase program Yahoo can Yahoo avoid screwing up Tumblr and still make money. Real estate vacation home sales sizzle. Rentals book up economy the Fed's been good for Wall Street. Not so much for Main Street Food Takeout Sites Grubhub and Seamless will merge autos Detroit roars back after years of quality issues agriculture trouble in the farm. We face a grim future. Advertise Vertical Bracket Ad Choices. Advertise Vertical Bracket Ad Choices. Taxes. Apple CEO Tim Cook. We pay all the taxes we owe. NBC Newswire Services. Facebook share on Facebook. Twitter. LinkedIn. Google Plus. Email. Two hours ago. Reuters. Apple CEO Tim Cook, Center, Tho Peter Oppenheimer, Left, and Head of Tax Operations Philip Bullock appear before a Senate Homeland Security and Governmental Affairs Investigations Subcommittee hearing in offshore profits shifting and the U.S. tax code Tuesday. Apple CEO Tim Cook is disputing assertions by a Senate panel that the company avoids billions of dollars in U.S. taxes by shifting profits to foreign affiliates. Cook testified at a hearing Tuesday by the Senate Permanent Subcommittee on Investigations, which released a damning report Monday in Apple's tax practices. We pay all the taxes we owe euro every single dollar, Cook said. We don't depend in tax gimmicks. Reuters. Chairman of the Senate Homeland Security and Governmental Affairs Investigations Subcommittee Carl Levin, DMI, and Ranking Member John McCain, RAZ, arrive at a hearing in offshore profits shifting and the U.S. tax code related to Apple. Cook, who is more accustomed to commanding a stage in front of investors and techies than facing a congressional committee, took a defensive tone with his opening statement. He punched out words when stressing the 600,000 jobs that the company supports and noting that Apple is the nation's largest corporate taxpayer. Cook said he advocates an overhaul of the U.S. tax code. The company came under fire in Tuesday at the Senate hearing over an investigation claiming that the high-tech giant has kept billions of dollars in profits in Irish subsidiaries and paid little or no taxes to any government. Apple effectively shifts billions of dollars in profits of sure euro profits that under one section of the tax code should nonetheless be subject to U.S. taxes, but through a complex process avoids those taxes, said Senator Carl Levin of Michigan. As chairman of the Senate Permanent Subcommittee on Investigations, Levin frequently dives into complex tax matters. His latest probe targets one of America's most successful companies with a powerful global brand. Offshore tax avoidance by multinational companies has become a high-profile issue, 